Well, imagine our province tens of thousands of years ago, B.C. during the Ice Age when mammoths roamed these lands. One SFU researcher is working to get the clearest picture of how these prehistoric elephant cousins lived, and her new study looked into 32 suspected mammoth fossil samples collected on Vancouver Island, and through radiocarbon dating, she found one sample that dates back 45,000 years. Well, our own Ali Patarga headed to the lab at SFU to see the fossils for herself. I'm Laura Termes. I am a PhD candidate here at Simon Fraser University, and my research project is studying the Ace Age megafauna, particularly mammoths in our province. We're in the SFU Archaeological Isotope Lab, and there are hundreds and hundreds of fossils in this building. And well, with your new study, you came to found, find out that these the mammoths that roam BC are older than we thought. So can you tell me what we what you've come to discover? Right now, we've just published our findings about the mammoths that lived on Vancouver Island. Um, and previously, they were dated about 20, 23,000 years ago. Um, and our new dates from the study show that they lived there uh, for quite some time um, from 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 years ago and beyond. I think we knew it was possible that they would be that age on the island, um, given that uh, sea level was lower with ice locked up, or the water locked up in the ice. Um, but now we know for sure that they were living there at this time. Here behind us is a fossil of a mammoth tusk. It's about a little more than two feet. That's right. And it looks very heavy. Can it's, I can I can yeah, I try it? Yeah, we can it? try lifting it together. It's okay. quite heavy. Let's see. And it's only part of a test okay. too. Really, oh oh gosh. gosh! No, no, no. Okay, I, I'm not going to try anymore. But from the onset, it looks like any other tree bark, right? But if you look closer, it's actually an animal. That's right. Yeah, it can be very, very confusing to know what a tusk looks like versus a piece of a tree trunk. This one um, is local. It's found in Chilliwack area. Um, and it was the first mammoth that was dated at SFU. Um, back when SFU had its own radiocarbon dating lab, um, quite a number of decades ago. Um, and they learned that this mammoth lived in the Chilliwack Valley um, on a grassy floodplain uh, about 25,000 years ago. And can you tell me about the process of studying a sample like this? I see you have tubes right next to you there. So the first thing we like to do is try to pick a sample um, that won't impact it too much. So something like this um, that's already disconnected from the rest of it, um, so it can still be used for display pace purposes like in a museum. Um, and then we take um, a size about a sugar cube. And then what we do is we cut it up into little pieces um, and then put it in a test tube where it can dissolve into an acid. Um, and then once it's nice and dissolved, it goes through a variety of lab processes, and then hopefully it gets turned into a fluffy, foamy, um, kind of whitish material, which then um, we can understand how well preserved, say, this tusk is. Just by looking at this, um, obviously these mammoths were giant, giant creatures back in the day. Uh, so can you tell me about how they existed in the ancient ecosystem of BC back then. For this individual, um, they did pollen analysis based off this dirt that's adhering, you can see in different areas of the tusk, um, and found that it lived in a floodplain that had grasses and sedges um, and maybe some pine and spruce around. Um, but mammoths, being so big, they were really good at trampling saplings down um, to increase the grasslands um, for their own feeding behaviors. Um, so it's probably very much an open parkland um, that they roamed in the Chilliwack Valley. So Laura, right now we are amidst SFU's collection of fossils. I see a lot of them, they're, they're really used. So tell me about the samples you have here. Right, so we're in the SFU archaeology, zoo archaeology lab. Uh, and we have lots of skeletal remains um, spanning from the Pleistocene. We have really old bison. Um, and then here we have some modern whale. So lots of different animals. I love all kinds of bones, paleontology, archaeology. Um, I always love the natural world um, and I just wanted to learn more about it. So I got into the study of 
bones. I think we're all fascinated about the, what the world was like before we lived here. Um, and so I've been receiving phone calls and emails from people around the province telling me the different mammoths they found. Um, we were just talking about that Chilliwack tusk and a fellow emailed me about a tusk that was found uh, in the greater Vancouver area. So it's nice to learn about the local ones hanging out here. We're just gonna expand the same study on Vancouver Island, but expand it to the rest of the province. So look at these ice age animals, um, where they were living and at what time period for the rest of our province. That is FSU, SFU researcher, Laura Termes, speaking with our own Ali Patarga.